single prisoner altered the fate of hundreds. But he paid a high price for it. defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier. But while all the other prisoners escaped, he remained behind in the rubble. It was I who dispatched him against the sleeper. Now it is I who brings him back from there. He is weak and has forgotten much. But he is alive. He's back. There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. After the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper, Belyar's wrath has grown even greater. A mighty artifact, so it is written in the old scriptures, will be brought back to this world when the god of darkness sends his henchmen out to search. This search has long since begun. Belyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island could sense this wrath. And some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him so much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, come, and they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. We do not have much time left. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. 
It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the paladins give me the Eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the Sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the Paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the Paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the Circle of Fire has taken me for dead, and that's a good thing. I can't read that. Hey, you! Can you tell me anything about this stone tablet? First I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. If you want the tablet, it's yours. I have no use for it. Where exactly are we? As I already said, near the city of Corinus. I have rebuilt my tower here. But it's only been a few days since we last saw each other in the Valley of Mines. The servants I summoned to build my tower have done a thorough job. Well, you can say that again. Where can I find better equipment? The closest place where you can get better weapons and armor is the city of Corinus. But down in the valley, you can find some healing herbs that will help you if you get injured in a fight. See the lake right in front of my tower. A secret passage leads to the valley from there. Why is the Circle of Fire not supposed to know about you? I used to be a high member of the Circle. Even then, I suspected that demon magic might be the key to the magic barrier. But I could never have convinced the other members of the Circle to follow this path. So I left the Circle in order to study the Black Arts. That is a crime for which the fire magicians, the ordained of Enos, the ever good and virtuous, will accept no excuse. They are certain that I'm still alive, but they have no idea where to find me, and that's a good thing too. So what should we do next? We shall proceed as planned. There's no other way. You can go get yourself the Eye of Enos, and I shall keep looking for answers.
Is that you? Really? Man, am I glad to see you. Lester, how did you get here? That was a crazy escape. After the barrier exploded, I wandered around the area for a while in total confusion. Then I spent days fighting my way through these woods until I finally found this valley here. Diego, Milton, and Gorn are still in the Valley of Mines. At least, I think so. What happened? After the Sleeper was defeated, the entire Brotherhood lost their minds. Without their master, they were all just empty husks. And you? What about you? It was the same for me. I had nightmares and even hallucinations. But once my head was more or less clear again, I ran for it. Once, I thought I saw a huge black shadow pounce on a group of fugitives and burn them all up in a giant cloud of fire. At that moment, I really thought a dragon had come to kill me. Did you see anything else? No. I took to my heels and ran. I'm on my way to Corinnus. What do you know about the town? Corinnus? Well, it's a seaport. Nothing special. Why do you ask? I must go and see the paladins who are said to be in town. <laughs> really? Uh, they won't even let you into the town. And certainly not to where the paladins are. Do you have any suggestions how I could get into town? I certainly do. I worked for an old alchemist named Constantino some time ago. He has great influence in the city, and he's instructed the guards at the gate to let anyone through who can sell him rare herbs. So it's quite easy, really. You collect a large bunch of the plants that grow here all over the place, and then you pretend you're working for Constantino, and in you go. But don't collect a mix of this and that. The guards aren't all that bright, and they know nothing about alchemy. The bundle needs to look good to them if you want to get through. I think that ten specimens of the same kind of plant should do the trick. Thanks for the hint. How long have you been hiding out in this valley? I don't know exactly. A week, maybe? But there's one more thing. When I came here in the evening, I took a look up on the mountain, and there were only a few trees there. And when I looked the next morning, that tower was there. I could have sworn it wasn't there before. Since then, I haven't left the valley. You mean Zardus' tower? I knew he was powerful, but creating a tower just like that. Zardus the necromancer? He lives in that tower? I don't know if I like that. Don't worry. He's the one who rescued me from the Sleeper's Temple. He's on our side. What do you know about the area? If you keep going down that way, you'll come to a farm. The city starts a little way beyond that. But be careful. There's not just wolves and rats hanging around here. There's goblins and bandits, too. You need to tell Zardas about the Shadow. It could be important. You don't think it was my imagination? You mean there really was a... Dragon, yes. You're getting into the thick of it again, am I right? I shouldn't say in the thick of it. Not yet. Well, good. If it's so important, then I'll go see him. But not now. For the moment, I'm going to rest. I'm still exhausted after the escape from the penal colony. I think you've got big plans. I'll see you later at Zardus's.
One less monster around. Nothing there. Trouble? Damn. I don't know where they're all hiding. You kill one, and shortly afterwards, they're all back again. Wait a moment. I know you. You're the fellow who was constantly baking arrows for me in the Valley of Mines. Your name is Cavalorn, right? Ah, I see you haven't forgotten me after all we went through in the cursed colony. Where are you heading? To the city. Well, well. To the city, eh? You may run into problems with the guards. They aren't letting just anyone in anymore, since the area here is swarming with bandits. In the past few days, one of those former psionics from the Valley of Mines came by here. He said he constantly goes in and out of Corinus. He went into the valley below the big tower. There must be a way in there somewhere near the waterfall. Maybe you should talk to the fellow. Interesting armor you're wearing. Don't you belong to the Shadows anymore? Shadows? They haven't existed since the fall of the barrier. The moment we could finally leave the Valley of Mines, there was no reason for me to stick with them. Now I work for the Water Mages. I belong to the Ring of Water. What are you doing here? I'm sitting tight. If it hadn't been for these damn bandits, I wouldn't be here. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. I'm not really allowed to talk about it. All I can do is send you to Vatras. He is the representative of the Water Mages in Corinus. The best thing would be to talk to him. Tell him you've come from me. Maybe he'll take you on as one of us. We urgently need more good people. Weren't you and your people enemies of the Water Mages back then? Those crazy old days are over. There isn't any more new camp or old camp. Now that the penal colony no longer exists, everyone is on his own. Most of us former prisoners are still being hunted. The water mages were able to get my sentence commuted, and now I can move about freely. What are the water mages doing now? They're up to something big. It has to do with an unknown region of the island. An unknown region? Where is it supposed to be? I can't tell you more. Talk to Vatras in Corinus. What was that about bandits? Have you slept through the last few weeks? Huh? I'm talking about all the riffraff from the penal colony that are making themselves at home here in the area. Plundering and murdering for all they're worth. <sighs> I guess I'm lucky they didn't kill me. I let down my guard for one moment and they clubbed me from behind. No idea how I'll get all my stuff back now. You were robbed by the bandits? Yes. They beat me down and tossed me to the goblins for lunch. It was damned important stuff. A letter and all my money. I absolutely have to get it back. But without someone to watch my back, I'm not going back there. That cowardly rabble. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe. But as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well. I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out. So, pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll nab the rabble. I need better equipment. Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Sure, give them here.
Hey, where do you come from? Hmm? I've come from the mountains. Exactly, you come from the mountains, and that is bad for you. Very bad. They're looking for you, a whole bunch of evil guys. There's someone here you absolutely have to talk to. Follow me. Who's looking for me? Half of Karinus is after you. And you're trying to tell me that you don't know anything about it? Ah, I see. You just don't want to talk to me about it, hmm? All right, it's your business. So, are you coming or not? Who should I talk to? To my leader. His name is Brago. He can explain everything to you better than I can. So, what about it? Are we going? How do I know this isn't a trap? You know, I'm getting tired of you. If you don't want my help, then just go to the city and let them put you behind bars. You come with me now or forget about it, see? Easy, my friend. Someone else already tried to trick me. Oh? This guy suggested that we should get an amulet together and share the profit. Once we reached our goal, he and his friends attacked me. It sounds as though they got you involved with the wrong people. Where was that? I was a convict in the mining colony. You come from behind the barrier? Man, then we were there together. I don't know you. I was a digger in the old camp. I didn't have much to do with the whole thing. But what is more important now is you are in big trouble. Someone has put a pretty price on your head and he's handed out a few posters with your mug on them. If I were you, then I would be very, very careful. There are people with us who would kill their own mother for gold. But I think we boys from the penal colony ought to stick together. Then I guess I better thank you now. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just make sure you stay alive. Who's the fella who pays the bounty? That I don't know. There's only one of us who knows him. And who would that be? Hey man, I can't really tell you that. You know how it goes. Ten gold pieces for the name of the guy who raised the bounty. Oh man, I really can't do that. Spit it out already. Oh man, all right. His name is Dexter. Near the big farm, there's a steep rock. There's a watchtower up there and a few mines. He has his hideout somewhere nearby. See, that wasn't so hard. Here's your gold. And just don't tell him who told you. Can I have the picture? Sure. After all, it's your mug on there. I wouldn't go into the cave up here if I were you. My buddies in there will tan your hide, and they know something about fighting. There's bound to be a lot of trouble here before long. What's up? A guy named Cavalorn is coming to get you. Guys, he's still alive. I'm out of here.
Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now they're in for a nasty surprise. Deserve that low life. Wait a minute. So that's done. Ha! They shouldn't have messed with me. Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later. Ah, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Can you teach me something? Sure. You know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know?
Hey, stranger. I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict. And we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Enos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. Well done! One dirty beast less! Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <coughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature. A pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me, now. Just like that? Just so. But, if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. Now, keep your paper. Hmm. I seem to have misjudged you, huh? Well, do you want something else? Uh, can I interest you in my wares? Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself.
Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I don't understand. What? Don't mess with me, boy. I want to know where you stand. So who are you for? I'm for the peasants. Huh. That damned warmonger Onar will drag us all into the grave. What do you think? How long will the paladins just stand by? After what Onar has done, the whole city is in an uproar. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But since the paladins have come to Corinus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. Who are those mercenaries that Unar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? I'm too close to the city to really have a choice. But I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry. And Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. Well, that's why most of the other farmers are still undecided, but sooner or later they'll have to choose one side or the other. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is, you can lend a hand in the field. And there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold. Or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap, if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit, before I change my mind. Hey. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house and tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Make me a better price for the togs. Good. I'll give them to you for ten gold pieces less. Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. But you can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help.
Hey. I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Can you give me something to eat? You can come back for more tomorrow. Give me the gold and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see then whether it's any good. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy too. Listen, you look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Are you hiding from someone? Of course not. What nonsense. I just enjoy standing among the trees so the wind won't blow right into my face. What about you now? Do you want the job? You don't look like someone who has gold. Well, I certainly don't move in the same circles as a gentleman like you. But you won't refuse my small contribution to your surely considerable fortune, will you? Well, what do you say? Can I count on you? Cut the crap. Tell me what you want. You see, that's exactly what I mean. Nobody gets anywhere with you just by using pretty words. I knew it. I'm dealing with a tough businessman here. You're a businessman and certainly interested in a small addition to your purse, aren't you? Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guard, won't you? About the city guards? Yes, got an idea. What about bribery? Well, if that worked for me, I'd have tried it already. You could get into the city as a herb gatherer. What? Do I look like I'd be picking flowers in the woods? I'll have to think about it first. All right, but hurry up about it. I've got no time to lose. Thank you. 
nothing there. And how goes the work? Uh, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city, but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Fetch me a bottle of wine, and I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Uh, better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. Hey, you! I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Vino says you were real help to him. And that's saying something. He doesn't usually hold with day laborers. Malith said you chase the bandits off. Bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. 30 gold pieces. It's not gonna get any cheaper. Give me the work clothes then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking. Hey, you! Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad.
pay. About the city guards. Yes, got an idea. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I knew I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? 50 measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows? Maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I must be crazy. What are you doing here? Did you swim here? <laughs> That's one way to get past the guards at the city gate. Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? 
I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. It's really not my problem. Go away, don't tell me that. have to ask me. And he works all day, too. You don't say. Everybody knows by now. Oh, what is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I've come to join the militia. That's a good one. Try that at the other gate. Maybe they'll buy that from you. I need to see the leader of the Paladins. I've got an important message for him. Oh, and what important message might that be? Nothing surprises me anymore. I have come to get the Eye of Inos. What? Never heard of it. What's that supposed to be? It's an important artifact. You don't look much like an important messenger. Do you have some kind of identification? No, I don't. Then don't waste my time. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mm, looks good. All right, in you go. But don't cause any trouble. Understood? Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. I've heard a thing or two. Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another lunatic. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. And without he some dimwit scaring himself. people with fairy tales about dragons, I immediately locked up the last person who was here telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. 
So mind your tongue. We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among the people. not my problem. Somebody already reported the dragons here? Yes. The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him just like you. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. I have come to get the Eye of Innos. The Sacred Eye of Innos? How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. A magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our Order to you. But he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But... I don't want to hear any more about it. First you start with fairy tales about dragons, and then this. Incredible. I don't believe this is gonna change. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? Nobody will learn anything from me. All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, the Honorable Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the Upper Quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the Town Hall in the Upper Quarter is now the command post of the Paladins. Only the Paladins themselves and members of the Militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the Commander of the Militia. Any questions? Nobody will learn anything from me. How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens don't of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. There's nothing you can do about it. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harvard District, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. Nobody ever asks for my opinion. How do I get to the upper quarter? Say, are you listening to me at all? You're not a citizen of this town. You can save yourself the trip. The guards won't let you in. The entire area behind the inner gate is off limits to you. He never would have thought of that himself. How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. I see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks. Do you really believe that? It can't go on like this forever. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia! You're not yeah, even a citizen! How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you, my boy. I never knew that. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other end of the city. Is it really true? Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I've got to go. If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? There's nothing you can do about it. I'm not touching that. You listen to the wrong people. I knew that would be a problem.